Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuned in to the bitter reality of why you're still single and the five toxic truths of the modern dating scene. And I'm going to start this video out by taking a flashback in time to a previous video I did. Um, it was called uh, Top 5 Reasons You're Single and Will Never Get Married. Um, and with some of the new content that's been coming out lately, I just wanted to take a look back at those five reasons and see if they're still relevant today. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Roll the clip. See what this guy has to say from five years ago. It sound like me. So, number one reason is that you ladies talk too much. Number one reason is you talk too much. And now, so what I did was I brought up an example because I wanted to see like if the reasons I gave five years ago are still relevant today and if the things I was saying then would still be applicable to the modern dating scene, you know, because I think the modern dating scene has a new level of toxicity to it. So let's let's just explore that a little bit right here. We were together and we had problems in our relationship. Would you voice those issues to your friends or would you keep it strictly between you and I? Oh, no, my friends are Full fucking stop. Prime example of talking too much. I mean, I, I we really don't even gotta let her finish. Not even pillow talk. She's just gonna spread all your business in the streets. She doesn't know when to shut up. And as you can see, same type of challenges just a few years later. Chick just doesn't know when to shut up. She's gonna just tell your friends. She, she can't keep her mouth shut. Number one, we just gotta move on. We gotta run it. Because I'm really curious to see if dating scene changes. I think some things have definitely changed. And when we get to them, I'm, I'm going to let you guys know. But number two, moving right along. What was the number two reason? I don't know what you want out of relationships. You don't know what you want. Um, you have unrealistic expectations. Um, and because of that, that's, the, that's it right there. I think that was it. The unrealistic expectations. I think that that's the... The main takeaway from that is not knowing what you want, but also combined with having those just unrealistic expectations. Chicks these days think they're going to meet a man that's making uh, half a million dollars a year. Um, he's going to like give her a full ride throughout the rest of her life, um, and she's going to contribute nothing but other than looking nice. So let's see if the modern women of today uh have the same fault going on i thought you were selling steroids bro what the f the beginning how old are you um how old how old do i look 28 yeah i am i'm about to be 29. she got like straight powder on her face hold up yo this chick like she got like straight hold on it's like not straight powder on her face it looked like somebody like pillowcase worth of baby powder and just poof, smacked her with that shit. So when did your last relationship end? When I was uh, 19. 19? You've been single since then? Yes, I So why hasn't a man tried committing to you? They have, but I don't know. I just haven't found the right one, you know, and I'm waiting. Like, I just don't want to just jump with anyone, you know? So does that mean that you've been celibate since 19? She been out here running the streets, giving it up, getting back shots, getting ass shots, getting titty shots. Yo, this is a prime example. The modern dating scene now, you got a woman running around for the last 10 years not having a clue what you want out of life, first of all. And no real picture, no real vision of like how to get there if you did know what you wanted out of life. It's, it's bad, but... Uh, it is what it is. I guess when this woman realizes maybe when she hits 30, which would be like in one year for her, right? She says she's 29. She'll realize like, oh, my time's almost up. Or maybe she doesn't care. Who knows? Point is, years ago, it was the same type of thing going on. You know, the women just look different. Like, I think that when I first made that video, like a few years ago, it was, you know, it was a lot of the same stuff going on, but it wasn't as 
socially kind of just like acceptable and where um, it's pervasive in our society. Like you look left and you look right and there's a chick with a BBL like standing right in front of you. So it just is what it is, man. This is what the world has become. This is what the modern dating scene looks like. It's toxic as fuck. We gonna get into number three. I wanna see what number three is. Number three reason is that you are a freak. Um, you just cannot live up to the things that you say. Um, you make plans and you don't follow them through. It's really just tied into number two. It's really just tied into number two. Women that are flakes and women who have low integrity don't stand on their word. Their words don't have that level of authority because they don't have the action behind them. Um, it's really, it's a product of them not knowing what they want, right? It's a product of them uh, having unrealistic expectations. And so uh, because of that, they're, they become kind of like deer caught in the headlights right they don't know what to fucking do but they don't do anything it's it's pretty crazy but for number three being you're a flake you guys get in the comments let me know what you guys think give me some examples of uh people being flakes in in this modern dating scene that you guys know of and while you're at it hit that like and subscribe button let's keep the video going and get into number four which is Let's see what number four is. I don't know. We gotta play the clip first. We're gonna play the clip. Number four is either there's too much chase or there's no chase at all. You know what's crazy about a lot of these is that the way that I explained what the reasons were back then, opinions being informed by things that were going on in my life back then, it's crazy how the reasons are the same and it's just I can just explain them in different ways and just give you guys new and refreshed examples of the same thing right because what i'm saying is essentially chicks play hard to get or they're just too damn slutty so like there's no in between and again i think that a lot of these reasons they like work with each other and they work off of each other it's like a trickle down effect because once you end up a person who doesn't know what they want right you become a flake and then that flaky behavior and you not knowing what you want, right? Combine all those things together, um, they make you a person that, you know, you play hard to get, right? Because you just flake out whenever you get, start getting too close to somebody, you, you just flake out. Or, you know, that, that makes you that type of a promiscuous person and you just go down that lane. All Again, all these things, I think they, they play into each other, they play off of each other, but let's look at the modern example of playing hard to get or just plain being too slutty. Oh, oh man, she she looks nasty, yo. Like, because I want to live life right now. I'm not taking anything serious. Oh, she's not taking nothing serious, y'all. You know, and that doesn't hurt you in the long run. Because she's not taking nothing serious. No, you don't take nothing serious. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, it's really I'd love to know like what the difference is to her between sleeping around and living life like because that's a weird way to describe uh, you know your promiscuous activities but let's see so if anything I'm seeing the most two guys three guys that's pushing it but two so seeing two or three guys at the same time, that's what she means. Okay, very interesting. Yo, you can't make this up. You can't make this up, right? Again, she said she's not sleeping around, right? She's not sleeping around. How many guys would you be comfortable sleeping with at the same time? I don't know. That's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, she's... I'm not answering that one. Yeah, she's not going to answer that one. And you know what's crazy is for number four is that she is a perfect example this is a woman who is guilty of playing hard to get and just being playing slutty at the same exact time right because while she's out being promiscuous with these two or three different guys at the same freaking time they're all probably hoping that they're gonna you know get somewhere with this young lady they don't know what's going on and she doesn't think this is promiscuous activity she thinks this is just 
living life so good luck to you guys out there for real man like uh this is what you gotta this is what you gotta look out for this is what you gotta be on uh, the watch for probably uh you can you can like run into women who who think that this kind of behavior again is just living life is totally normal there's nothing wrong with it um she probably thinks you're doing the same thing and hell probably a lot of guys probably are doing the same thing so this again are the toxic truths of the modern dating scene and this is why the vast majority of people are gonna just remain single um back when i originally made the video the statistics were that 51 percent of people between the ages of 18 and 34 were single back then i i would imagine it's probably like even higher now because of this type of antics that's going on um but anyway let's get right into number five this was like the top reason you are giving the wrong guys a chance that's that's correct going for the wrong guys giving the giving the giving the prize the mystical prize um I don't know what we're gonna call it. Just give you're just giving it away too easy, okay? I I guess yeah no because I guess my the my reason then was going for the wrong guys, but I'm I'm taking it as giving it away too easy, and I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's so much as it's going for. Let's look at the modern day example. Make everything more clear. I'm 27. Keep going. Are you single? Keep going. No. You have a man. Yeah. How long now? Has he proposed to you yet? No, he hasn't. Why do you think he hasn't proposed? Um, I think because we're both young, so like I don't know. I don't I'm not looking for marriage right now anyway. Twenty-seven is young for a woman? Yeah, it's very young. How old are you? Same age. You're twenty seven? Yeah. Do you feel like you're older now? No, but I don't have a biological clock. Oh I mean see you just long. So at what point would you want to get married then? Thirty. Three years. <laughs> yeah. What if you're a man today? I never want marriage. I just want a long term oh, commitment. How would you feel? Um, I think I would leave. It doesn't take years to know if you want to marry someone. But aren't you the relation? Okay. She just explained to us that she was in a relationship for years and she has been in a relationship for years with a person who does not want to marry her they both don't want marriage because they think that they're both young right 27 ain't that young first of all besides that ma'am when you turn 30 who do you think is gonna want you now like you've spent the best years of your life number five going for the wrong guys the guys that don't don't want to lock it down with you that that just want to use you up for your gut years use you up for your bbl years and then she thinks when she turns 30, after she's been used and abused and had her fun and everyone else has had their fun with her, and now she's dealing with the reconstructive surgeries of fixing whatever the hell she do did to her body to make her ass poke out that far, um, you're going to help her. You're going to deal with her. You wanna, Somebody's going to want to settle down with that at that point. Like, oh, but again... This is the bitter reality of why you're single. This has been the five toxic truths of the modern dating scene and why some of you will never get married. Uh, you're gonna remain single forever. Um, check out my other videos. Again, like, subscribe. If it's not about topics I cover in this video or other videos, and just don't talk to me. Peace.